Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Ana Maria. Hello, Elias. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Good evening. How are you tonight? I am very good. Okay. I'm happy you are good. Ana Maria, how are you? I'm just fine, thank you. And you? I'm excellent, thanks for asking me. So how was your day today? Did you had a busy day? Did you have a busy day? I work. Oh, you work a lot. In your case, Elias, did you work today? Yes. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you okay. did. No, I said, yes, I did. Did you work? Yes, yes I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes. Hello, Brenda. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. I'm happy you are fine. And Claudia, hello, good evening. Welcome to the hello, class. Good evening. How are you tonight? Everything okay. Excellent, everything is okay. Very good. And you teach? I'm, I'm excellent. Thanks for asking me. Excellent. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, did you finish the platform exercises? Did you finish the exercises on the platform? Yes, teacher, pero fíjese, se lo voy a decir en español porque es muy largo, <laughs> que hoy yo volví a, a meterme a la plataforma, pero no me aparece que haya hecho el examen final. ¿Se aseguró de dar clic en enviar cuando termine sí, el sí, examen? Sí. De hecho, le voy a mandar las screenshots al, al grupo. Oh, can you share that with me, please? And what about the progress? ¿Qué hay en el progreso? ¿No le aparece? Sí, sí, sí. Ahí, ahí he estado consultando. Y siempre aparece en grisito la barra y tendría que estar en rojo, creo yo. Si Mándeme un anterior. screenshot. Creo que Ahorita. no es. Es con de color gris. It's gray color. But share with, me gris. A, share with me a screenshot and I'm going to send you. Ahorita. Thank you. Hello, Yvonne. Hello, Elena, Carla, Vanessa, Juliana. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, how are you today? Hello, teacher. Good. Good, teacher. Good, you are good. Okay, that's excellent. Okay, uh, did you have any problems solving the final test? Ya todos resolvieron el examen final? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Juliana did, Carla Vanessa did. Okay, I'm seeing the screenshot that you already sent me. And let me see, problem score, final exam. Sí, es gris, así le aparece, ya está resuelto toda la plataforma. And you got 100%. Ah. Y no le aparece la opción de ver el certificado. No, aún no. Todavía no le aparece. No, teacher. ¿Alguien ya fue? Ya, ¿Alguien ya pudo ver su certificado? 
Nobody yet. Ya, no, yo, bueno. yo sí, teacher, ya lo tengo. Ya lo tiene, ok, perfecto. Anyone, any other? Ok, bueno, well, probably um, tomorrow o this, during this week, you are going to be able to see your diploma. If no, you can write me and I'm going to ask. ¿De acuerdo? Si no me escribe, yo voy a preguntar. What happened with your uh, diploma? So let's start with tonight's class. Tonight, we're going to have a review of the final test. So I'm going to share. Let me see. I'm going to share the screen. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. I'm sharing with you. Can you see it? Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Look at this. I am here in the final test. This is the final test that you already saw. Okay. Look at this. In the first. In the first exercise, uh, is a listening. This is a listening part. So listen to Helen and Mark's conversation and select the best answer to the question. So you click here on play and you are going to listen or you listen and you solve this. Let's see, let me see, four questions. Uh, where are Helen and Mark going? Where is a Smith department store? How do you get there? Uh, what is Mark going to buy? And then you just click on the option. And then you click here in send and be out. So did you do it that way? Así lo hicieron? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, then in this part, we have this. Uh, complete the sentences. You have to complete the sentences using the preposition of time. Uh, sorry, of place. Do you remember the preposition of place? Do you remember the preposition of place? Yes. Yes. Can you please tell me some of them? Across, on the corner, next to, between, in front of. In front. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent, very good. So in the same way, the department store is, and you choose one of the prepositions of place here, across from, on, between, next to, or on the corner of. So let's see, then you go to the second exercise and you, you pick the right answer here. Alt's coffee shop is the movie theater, across from, on, between, next to, and on the corner of. So did you have any problem in this exercise? Was it easy or difficult? Was it easy? Easy or... teacher. Oh, it was easy, very good. Now in the third exercise, you found this. Select the best answer. Select the best answer for each question. So do you remember what is the meaning of the question where your parents were in the US? Is it a yes, no question or an, um, let's see, yes, no question or information question? The first an information one. Information question. Information. Uh, you sure it's an information question? Look at the answer. You say, no, they couldn't. I grew up in Tokyo. My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. I came to New York in 1998. It was a little scary. So it is a yes, no question, right? Let's start with the verb be, were your parents born in the US? Then you say yes or no. Yes, they were, no, they weren't. Then where did you grow up? Look at this information question or yes, no question. Where did you go? Information. Up? Information. Okay, that is an information question. It's asking for a place. Where? Donde? Where did you grow up? Then you here pick up the right answer. And the second one, who was your first English teacher? 
who was your first English teacher? Yes, no question or information question? Information. Oh, this is an information question. Yes, yes you're right. And he is asking for a person who, who was your first English teacher? Quien? And the next one, when did you come to New York? When did you come to New York? Is another information question. What is the meaning of when? Cuando. Yes, thank you. Cuando. So this is asking for time. When did you come to New York? And the last one, how was your first day in the U.S.? How was your first day in the U.S.? Is it an information question or a yes, no question? Information. Oh, yes, you're right. It's an information question. How? How was your first day in the U.S.? Then in the next exercise, you found this. Complete the conversation. So you have to select to the correct form of the verb to complete the sentences. So the past form, the correct past form to complete this. The first one is a question. So it did you have, did you have, or you had? So you pick here the right answer, right? And not really, I, then you choose in this part, study, study, study. Then you say anything last week and then you choose here, did they, did they did, did they do? You choose the right answer to this question. So let's see in the last exercise, you have this article, read the article and complete the sentences. Do you have any question about this vocabulary? So the title is Home Alone. Let me show you a little bit bigger. Just a second, it is taking some time. Well, that's what is in this page. Do you have any question about this? Home alone. Here is it, home alone. This is a reading, and do you have any question about these paragraphs? In the first paragraph, it says, Jerry Carson, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. Any new vocabulary in this paragraph? No new vocabulary in this paragraph. No hay palabras nuevas. Quiero ver. Teacher, stayed. Stayed, but he stayed, stayed home. Él se quedó en casa. Stayed. Quedó. Yes. Él permaneció en casa. Él se quedó en casa. Can you stay? Y can you please repeat the word? Hey. When downstairs. Okay, he got up early on Saturday and went downstairs. And went downstairs. Bajo las gradas. Bajo las gradas. Y bajo las gradas to the basement. A el sótano. Bajo las gradas al sótano. To do laundry. Para lavar la ropa. Let's go. Any other question in the first paragraph? No question? Um, no. No. Okay. One moment. Okay, not for the moment. Let's, let's go with the second paragraph. He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed, he pushed on it, but it didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. So downstairs, Downstairs is bajar las gradas. Downstairs. Now upstairs. What is upstairs then? He went back upstairs. Upstairs. Sí. Sería subir. Él subió. But at hey. the top of the stairs. Pero al final de las gradas. What happened with the door? The door was. What is the meaning of locked? Do you have an idea? 
Um, if we went. Okay, the door was locked. La puerta estaba cerrada. He pushed on it, but it didn't open. Él la empujó, pero no abrió. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Llamó a los, what is neighbors? Vecinos. Thank you, Claudia. Vecinos, but they didn't hear him, pero no le escucharon. Luckily, Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement and he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and sleep on them. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone, said his father. We came home right away we are just happy he's all right. So what happened with Jerry Carson? What happened with him according to the reading? Quiero ver. Any idea what happened with Jerry Carson in this reading? Como que se había quedado encerrado, teacher. Yes, you're right. Quedó encerrado. What is the basement? What is the basement? Sótano. Sótano. Ok, very good. So, él quedó encerrado en el sótano. ¿Alguna vez les pasó? ¿Quedaron encerrados en algún lugar? En el baño. <laughs> really? That happened. That happened, right? Uh, unfortunately, Jerry was alone. Jerry estaba solo. So, let's see. He asked for help. Él pidió ayuda, but nobody helped him. Nobody, nadie le ayudó, ¿verdad? Nadie lo escuchó. Then, uh, he slept on the basement. Él durmió en el sótano. Uh, afortunadamente, nada sucedió. Uh, um, Sunday morning, if his parents uh, went back home and helped him. Y le ayudaron a él. So do you have any question about this paragraph? No question. No, no question. question. Okay, very good. Uh, then I need a volunteer to read paragraph number one. Who wants to read it? Uh, me, Sheila. Thank you, Sheila. Can you please start with paragraph number one? Let's practice. Um, um, desde Jerry, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. How alone? Jerry Carson, uh, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parent went to visit his aunt, but, uh, but he stayed, stayed, stayed? Stayed home. Stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to the laundry. To do, to do laundry. To do laundry, perdón. Okay, excellent. Don't worry. Excellent. Very good. Any other volunteer to read the second paragraph who wants to participate tonight? I need help. Can you help me, please? Who wants to participate? Any volunteer to read second paragraph? Me, teacher, Miriam. Thank you, Miriam. Can you please start? He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stair. The door was locked. He pushed it on any boat in that in. Open, he cared to, to his neighbor, but they didn't hear him. Thanks a lot. Excellent. So, lock. It's a regular verb, right? Locked. 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 With, with this sound at the end. The door was locked. He locked. pushed. He pushed on it. Pushed. And this cold, it's end with L sound, so D sound at the end, cold, 
called to his neighbors. Called. To his neighbor. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. Uh, any volunteer to read paragraph number three? Just one. Anna. I need a volunteer. Thank you, Anna. Luckily, Jerry and had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement, and he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and slept on them. Excellent. Slept on them. Very good. Thanks a lot, Anna. Any other volunteer to read the last paragraph? Who wants to participate? Me, Elia. Thank you, Elias. Can you please start? His parents come home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We call Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone. Said his father, we come home right away. We're just happy he's all right. Excellent, Elias, thank you. You did an excellent job in this part. Just this birthday, come is in present. He is in past. The pass of con is came. We uh, came, came home. And this expression, right away, right away, right away, right away. We're just happy he's all right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Any other question about this reading? No more question. Then, according to this reading, you have to complete in the final test the following three questions. Why did Jerry go to the basement? So it's asking for a reason. Why did Jerry go to the basement? Por qué fue Jerry al sótano? The second one, where did Jerry sleep? Where did Jerry sleep? And the last one, why? Why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? So according to the reading, you choose here the right answer, and then you are done. You click here. Cuando marque la, cual, cuando marque la opción correcta, acá se le activa el botón de enviar. You click on it, and you are done. That is the final test. Do you have any question about the final test? Questions? No questions, no question at all. Okay, then let's go with the presentation. We are going to have this here. This is the topic for tonight. We're going to have a review of the final test, final test review. We're going to study it. Okay, this is our class number 15. So let's start. We are going to start with a listening part. I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you please tell me if you can see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, excellent. So let's listen. Here we go. Okay, we're going to listen to these two conversations. So pay attention to the pronunciation and also the intonation, and then we are going to practice. So here we go. Are you ready? Stand this Yes, yes, sure. Yes, okay. One. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay. What are they talking about? What are they talking about? Hey. hey. Mm -hmm. Tell me.
Oh, where are you going? What is the meaning of the first question? Hey, Mark, where are you going? And he answered, oh, Les hombre. Donde andas? Donde estuviste? Donde estuvo, huh? Go ahead. Okay, uh, very good ideas, thanks a lot. But unfortunately, mm, Actually, the question is, where are you going? ¿A dónde vas? Where are you going? And he says, oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. Yes, they are talking about future. Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present. What is a present? Regalo. Yes. So I am going to Smith Department Store. I'm going to Smith Department Store. Are you going to drive there? Are you going to drive there? What is the meaning of that question? Are you going to drive there? Vas a conducir. Que si va a manejar. Si va a manejar o conduce. Okay, excellent. No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. Oh, they say in El Salvador, the gasoline is expensive here. No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to work. Así nos toca, ¿verdad? No hay para la gasolina, nos toca. I'm going to walk. Caminar. Caminar, yes. Uh, you know, I need to go to the bank. Uh, it's not far from Smith. Can I come with you? Sure. Uh, entonces se fueron juntos, ¿verdad? So, you know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith. No está lejos de Smith's department store. Can I come with you? ¿Puedo venir contigo? Sure. Then let's go out the second part. In the second conversation. Two. Uh-oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. Oh, what happened with them? What happened with them? Se perdieron. Se habían perdido. Yes, they get lost. They got lost. Se perdieron. So it is, oh, oh, I think we're lost. Where is the Smith Department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on Second Street. No, it's not. We are on Second Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. So the volunteers, I need the volunteers to practice the first conversation. Me teacher. Maria Luz. Okay, Maria Luz and any other volunteer? Catherine. Maria and Catherine, you can start, please, in the first conversation, in the primera parte, please. Maria, can you please start, hey. please? Okay. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy a present so i am going to a smith department store are you gonna drive there no i don't have i any gasoline gas gasoline in the car i'm gonna walk you know i need to go to the bank it's not far from smith can I come with you? Can I come with you? Sure. Thank you. Excellent job, Maria and Catherine. You did a great job in this conversation. Uh, I'm going to walk. What's the meaning of the sentence? I'm going to walk. I'm, I'm going to walk. Yes. What's the meaning of the sentence? ¿Qué significa esa oración? I'm going to walk. Caminar. 
Caminar, ok. Gonna is the informal way of. Es la forma informal de. de it's in future, going. yes. I am going. Going to. Excellent. I'm going to. Es la manera informal de I'm going to. I'm gonna walk o I'm going to walk. Thank you very much. Eh, to volunteer to practice the second part of the sentence. Yo iré a caminar. Yes, you're right. Thank you. That is the right meaning. Yo iré caminando. I'm going to walk. Yo iré. Caminaré. Any to volunteer to practice the second part of the conversation? Help me, please. Ana. Ana, Ana Brenda. Ana and Brenda. Brenda. Brenda, can you please start? Okay. Oh, oh, I think we are lost. Where is the Smith department store? I'm not sure. I usually it's right there. Do you know where is it? No, not really. Well, I think it's Second Street. No, it is not. Uh, we are on Second Street now. I think it's on Main. You are right, it's on the corner on Spirit and Main. Excellent, thanks a lot. Any question in these two small conversation? No question? Then let's go with the next part. Creen que llegaron a la tienda? Yes or not? What do you think? Yes. Según eso, sí. Yes. Ah, let, let's see the next part. Here we go. Okay, let's listen. Let's listen the first conversation. It is on this part. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Maine. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. Okay, what is? What is the department store? And is it, mm, how are we going to get there from here? ¿Cómo vamos a llegar ahí? Well, we are on second now, right? Estamos en la segunda calle. Yeah, well, we just walk on second to Maine. Caminemos hasta llegar a la Main Street. Are you sure? Yes, then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Yes, después giramos a qué lado? Izquierda o derecha? Then we turn right. Y es de izquierda o derecha? Derecha. Oh, it's down the street. Está subiendo la calle o bajando la calle? It's down the street. Bajando. Okay, down is bajando. On the left, a la? Izquierda. 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 Okay, excellent. Very good. And let's listen the last part of the conversation. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay. At the end, what did, uh, what was the name of this boy? Mark. At the end, what did Mark buy to his father? ¿Qué compró Mark al final para su papá? Un suéter. Suéter. A suéter. A suéter. Do you like sweaters? Do you like sweaters? Yes, yes, I like. Yes, okay. With Santa Claus printed in the front of the sweater? No. No, not no. really. <laughs> oh, just for Christmas, you say. Uh, then, any volunteer to practice in the first conversation? No volunteers tonight? Hello, any volunteer to practice the Hola. first? Ana and Maria. Thank you, Maria. Can you please start? What 
Yo iniciaría, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. What are you gonna buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie. Oh, oh, not a tie. No, then what? How about a nice sweater? Look. Oh, no. Look at this. ¿Cómo Sweat, se dice? Sweaters. Sweaters. Sweater. Sweater here. <laughs> oh, there are nice. I think I get it. I get it one. Thanks. Excellent. Thanks a lot. So what are you going to buy for your father? What are you going to buy for your father? ¿Qué le va a comprar a su, a su padre? Can you please answer this question? What are you going to buy for your father for Christmas? ¿Qué le va a dar de Navidad a su padre? What are you going to buy for your father? ¿Ya lo pensaron? No yet. No. No yet. No, no yet. No yet. Ok. Probably a tie or a sweater. Oh, no, not really. No, no, really. Okay. Buy something nice for your father. Let's go with the next thing. So it was the conversation on the final test. Esta es la conversación que escucharon en el primer ejercicio del examen final. ¿Sí se acordaban? Sí dijeron, ah, oh, ese es el del examen. Or no? No. No, no, okay. This is the listening on the test. And it is about the future, right? They are talking in future, when using future expression. Like, uh, how are we going to get there from here? Uh, what are you gonna buy for your father? Uh, so going to, do you remember that? It's, we learned in the first topic of this unit, going to. Then let's go in with this. In this part, we are going to remember this preposition of place. What is the meaning of next to? Do you remember the meaning of next to? What's the meaning of the preposition next to? The preposition on the corner of, behind, across, front, in between. Do you remember that? Después de tú, a la par de. Okay. The next one on the corner of. En la esquina de. Behind. Detrás. Excelente. Detrás. Across from. Al cruzar. Al cruzar en frente. So. Ok. En between. Al cruzar. Entre. Entre. Ok. Entre en medio de. Entre en medio de. Ok. Let's see. Can you please find or tell me what is Joe's jean? Joe's jean. What is Joe's jean? Just in this preposition, can you please tell me where is Joe's gene in this map? Joe's gene. Joe's I don't see. How can you can see it? Okay. In front see. of Main Street. In front of Main Street. To say it's on, it's on Main Street. Between post office, um, or there is the part of the main store. Excellent. It's between the post offices and all days department store. Very good. Can you please tell me what is Princess Grocery Store? What is Princess Grocery Store? Let's see who can find it first. Next to First National Bank. Excellent. Very good. It's next to First National Bank. Very good. Now, can you please tell me what is Top Shoes? Top Shoes. What is it? Quiero ver. Top Shoes. What is it? Next to the Parker's drugstore. 
Ah, ok, very good. It's next to Parker's Drugstore. And where is the gas? Where is the gas station? Gas In front station. of gas station. What is the gas station? Behind the National Bank. Okay, excellent. It's behind, behind. Ah. behind the First <laughs> National Bank. Okay, excellent. Let's see another question. What is the park? An easy one. What is the park? The park. Where is the park? On Fifth Avenue. Fifth okay. Avenue. First Avenue. It's on First Avenue. You can say it's uh, across from the post office. Any, let's see. I'm going to tell you an, another question. What is, can you please tell me what is Frank's Cafe? What is Frank's Cafe? No sé, quiero ver. Ah, um, next to, quiero ver. On the okay. corner of El Cid en Maple Avenue. Um, not really. Let's see. You say it's on the corner of Maple Avenue and Pine Street. You say here. Pine strip here. Is it here? No, you can say it's on Elm Strip. It's on Elm Strip or is next to Rosa's restaurant. Okay, let's see the last the last question. What is the laundromat? What is the laundromat? Landromat. Um, Behind post office. Thank you. Yes. Landromat. Mm -hmm. The landromat is behind the post office. So we use this preposition of play in that way, right? To say where uh, a place is located. Uh, let's see, for example, the post office. And you see the post office is across from the park. The post office is next to Joe Jing. The post office is on Main Street. And you say public library. The public library is next to the gas station. Or you can say the public library is behind Princess Grocery Store. And you say, where is Rosa's restaurant? You say Rosa's restaurant is on the corner of Maple Avenue and Pine Street. Then you say, where is O'Day's department store? And you say, it's next to Joe's Gym. And you say, where is Parker's drugstore? Where is Parker's drugstore? And you say, ah, it's between, in middle of the Parker's drugstore is between mom and pop's grocery and top shoes. So, ya se recordaron, ¿verdad? De esas preposiciones del lugar. Do you have any question? No question? You are going to find some similar exercises on the uh, no second teacher. exercise. No question, teacher. No question. Now let's go with this, this practice. Here I have some question. Where your parents were in the US? Where did you grow up? And who was your first English teacher? When did you come to New York? And how was your first day in the US? Can you please find the answer here on the letters? Find the answer. What is the answer for number one? Where your parents were in the US? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. In Japan? Really? Which letter? A, B, C, D, or E? Is um, A B A? This is A. B. I grew up in San Miguel. Sí. 
Siti. Según el examen final o como teacher. Oh, no, uh, here, here. You have to find here the answer. Ah, ok. I don't know, entonces el Salvador. D. Sí. Letter sí. D, ok, thank you. No, they were in. They were born in El Salvador. Very good. What about the second question? Where did you grow up? Perdón, estaba viendo la... la... A. 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 Excellent. Can you just read? I grew up in... San in Miguel. San, in San Miguel. Number three, who was your first English teacher? Do you remember that? Who was your first English teacher? E. 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 Letter e. My first yes. English teacher was Mr. Colin. And number four, when did you come to New York? Um, let's see. See. I, see. 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 I came, I came to, New to New York in 2010. And the last one, how was your first day in the U.S.? How was your first day in the U.S.? B. B. It was a little sad. I miss my country. Very good. Let's check the answer. One, D, two, A, three, E, four, C, and five, B. I need to volunteer to practice in this part. Who wants to participate? The volunteers. Mm. Anna. Anna and. Hello. Any volunteer? Me, Shayla. Thank you, Shayla. Shayla, can you ask the question? And Anna, can you please read the answer? You can start, please. Okay, um, simple part question. Where are your parents born in the US? No, they weren't. They were born in ESA. Number two, where did you grow up? I grew up in San Miguel. Who, got, who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was my Mr. Colin. When did you come to New York? I came to New York in 2010. Who was your first day in the US? It was a little sad. I missed my country. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job. Thank you, Anna and Sheila. Perfect job. Thanks a lot. Now look at this type of question. They are information question. Just the first one is yes, no question. Solo la primera es yes, no question. Right? You answer no. No, they weren't. And the next, the rest of the question, they are information question. Where, who, when, and how? Uh, where did you grow up? And you say, I grew up in San Miguel. Where are your parents born in the USA? You say, no, they weren't. They were born in El Salvador. Yeah, okay, now with your own information, do you remember who was your first English teacher? ¿Se recuerdan quién fue su primer maestro de inglés? Who was your first English teacher? Yes. No. Yes. Yes, yes. I remember. What was no, his... No, I wasn't. What was his or her name? Can you say her my... Her name. Her name. Can you say my first English teacher was... My first English, my first English was Delfina. Okay, my first English teacher was Miss Delfina. Any other answer? Who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Rina. Rina, my first English teacher was Miss Rina. My first English teacher Eva Linares. 
was Miss Eva Linares. Miss, you was, see, Miss. Si es me. ella, we say Miss. Si es él, decimos Mister. My first English teacher was Mr. Colin. My first English teacher was Miss. Miss Maria, Miss Carmen. So very good. First English teacher, Mr. René. Mr. René, okay. Now let's see, how was your first day at work? ¿Cómo fue su primer día en el trabajo? How was your first day at work? Terrific. <laughs> it was terrific. Terrific. Uh, terrific. But terrific significa muy bien. It was excellent. Very good. If you want to say, fue horrible, that is horrible. Oh, How was your first day at work? ¿Cómo fue su primer día en el trabajo? Is scary. Uh, my or first day in the world was awful. Oh, was awful. Really? Very bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bueno, era el comienzo. Ahora todo lo bueno había quedado atrás. <laughs> Nice, nice to work, right? And then let's go sequence of events. And look at this. Yesterday, my wife and I went to a restaurant. This is the first event. My wife and I went to a restaurant. Second, it was a romantic evening. But at 11 o'clock, there went, the lights went out. Fourth, we heard a lot of the screams. We didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out. Suddenly, a man appeared and said, stay there. Let's see, this is six uh, events. Number six, he was a thief. He had a gun in his hand. There was another man beside him. We gave them our money. After 10 minutes, the police arrived and they caught the thief, but we never recovered our money. So what happened in this paragraph? Es una secuencia de eventos. Well, ayer, yesterday, my wife and I went to a restaurant. It was a romantic evening, but at 11 o'clock, the lights went out. What is the meaning of this sentence? The lights went out. Any Las idea? Luces se apagaron. Excellent. Las luces se apagaron. We heard a lot of screams. What is the meaning of this sentence? We heard a lot of screams. Escuchamos sí. muchos gritos. Excellent. Escuchamos muchos gritos. We didn't know what to do. We didn't know what to do. No sabíamos qué. We didn't know what to do. ¿Qué hacer? ¿Qué pensar? Okay, ¿qué hacer? We didn't know what to do. No sabíamos qué hacer. We wanted to go out. Queríamos salir. Suddenly, a man appeared. Suddenly, a man appeared and said, stay there. What is the meaning of this phrase? Stay there. Nos quedamos aquí. Okay, quédese allí, ¿verdad? Quédese quieto. ¿Cuál es la frase que utilizan los dos ladrones? In Spanish? In Spanish? No sé. Dice, manos Pero arriba, va. no sé. Mueva. No se mueva, ¿verdad? manos arriba, no se mueve. Stay there, that is the meaning of this sentence. Stay there, no se mueva. He was a thief. What is a thief? Ladrón. Él era un ladrón. Yes, he had a gun in his hand. There was another man beside him. Él tenía qué en sus manos? Pistola. Yes, tenía una pistola en sus manos. There was another man beside him. Estaba otro hombre a la par de él. We gave them our money. We gave them our money. After 10 minutes, the police arrived. ¿Qué tuvieron que darles? El dinero. El dinero. Okay, it says after, after 10 minutes, the police arrive. 
en day calf the tears. Igualito que en El Salvador, right? A los 10 minutos ya están ahí los policías. Nice. After 10 minutes, the police... Aquí más tarde, dice. <laughs> A la vela. A la... But we never recover our money. Uh, what is the meaning of the last sentence? We never recover our money. Nunca recuperamos nuestro dinero. Bueno. Sucede eso. No, eso nunca no, pasa no. aquí, ¿verdad? No. Eso no. Es de otro lugar este parra. So it says, uh, look at the sequence of events. Right? ¿Cuál fue el primer evento que sucedió? So it is in past. Fueron. Fueron un restaurante. Yes. Fueron. The lights went out. We hear a lot of screams. Then let's see a man appeared. And let's see the other, the next one. We gave in our money. So de esta manera contamos ¿verdad? en pasado con una secuencia los sucesos o los eventos. Yesterday my wife and I went to a restaurant. It was a romantic evening. But at 11 o'clock the lights went out. We heard a lot of screen. We didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out. He suddenly a man appeared and said, stay there. He was a thief. He had a gun in his hand. There was another man beside him. Okay. Uh, si yo le preguntara, ¿qué hizo el día de ayer? What did you do yesterday? And then you start, I got up at, uh, yesterday was Sunday, so I got up at 10 o'clock. I didn't have a breakfast. I cooked the lo I cooked lunch. I went out to a restaurant for dinner. And you say, I was with my wife, my sons. So you es, comienza ¿verdad? a contar en secuencia qué sucedió ayer. Like this story. That's why the simple past tense is really important. So look at this, and uh, we're going to answer the following question according to the reading. The first one, when did this happen? So when did this happen? When is asking for a place, a person, or time? Time. 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 Okay, when did this happen? Yesterday. Okay, let's see if you're right. It happened yesterday. Yes. Second. What time was it when the lights went out? What time was it when the lights went out? So let's see, it's asking for the specific time. What time was it when the lights went out? ¿Qué hora será? Do you remember? Let's go with the paragraph. Eight? I don't remember. Eight, no? Eleven. Eleven, eleven. eleven o'clock. Ah, okay. So let's see, it was 11 o'clock. What did they want to do then? What they want to do then? ¿Qué querían hacer ellos? Escapar. Salir de ahí. Ok. They wanted to go out. They wanted to go out. Who was the man that appeared? Was it a thief? The police officer? Who was the man that appeared? The police officer. The police officer. Are you sure? He was a thief. Then the team number thief, five. Thief. 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 <laughs> he was a thief. <laughs> and number five, what did the people give the thief? The police officer. No. What did the people give the thief? The money. Okay, excellent. People gave the thief their money. 
In number six, did the police catch the thief? Did the police catch the thief at the end of the story? Yes, they, they catch it. Okay, yes, they did. Very good. Yes, they did. Okay, the last two volunteers for tonight. The last two volunteers who wants to participate? Me, Elia. Elias and I need another one. Who wants to practice? Catherine. Elias and Catherine. Catherine, can you please start? Um, you are going to ask the question and Elias, you are going to read the answer. So let's start, please. When did this happen? It happened yesterday. What time was it when the lights went off? It was 11 o'clock. What did they want to do then? They wanted to go out. Who was the, the man that appeared? Appeared. He was a thief. What did the people give the thieves? People gave the thieves their money. Did the police cut the thieves? Yes, they did. Excellent. Thank you, Elias and Catherine. Very good job. So look at this question. They are information questions. Yes, the last one is a yes, no question too. So when did this happen? Time. What time? A specific time. What did they want to do then? And who is asking for a person? Uh, let's see. What did the people give the thief? A things, una cosa, una que. ¿Qué le dieron las personas a los ladrones? And this is a yes, no question. Did the police catch the thief? Yes, they did or no, they didn't. So do you have any question? And those are the topics of the final test, right? Uh, going to, preposition of time, simple past, information question and yes, no questions. And also the reading, reading for a specific information, right? So do you have any question? No question, Tisha. Question. No question. Okay. Okay, ya todos terminaron los ejercicios y las evaluaciones en la plataforma. If not, yes, I did. Okay, if yes, not, si hay alguien que no lo ha hecho, eh, please do it, do it. You can do it after classes or tomorrow. Right? Tomorrow we are going to have our last class. So before the last class, eh, you have to, you have to finish the platform. Antes de mañana, de la última clase de mañana, tiene que estar terminada la plataforma. En caso de que les haga falta algún ejercicio, bueno, si tienen el 99%, todavía tienen tiempo de ir a revisar cuál fue el ejercicio que no está completo para que la plataforma quede al 100%. Ok, I'm sure that you can do it. And congratulations for the ones who have already completed the platforms, eh, the exercises and the evaluations. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job. So see you tomorrow for our last class. Uh, have a good night. Sleep well. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye bye.